here in just a second. Good afternoon, I'm Jeff, I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 868 Southeast Paloma Avenue here in Gresham. We're located in the uh, downstairs or basement floor uh, bathroom, pulled the toilet. Uh, looks like we have a four inch cast iron pipe here as our point of access. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. Okay, here at 54 feet, it looks like it's transitioning here from cast iron over to a likely concrete pipe, possibly clay. Uh, it looks like we do have some broken pipe and uh, possibly roots up ahead. Okay, so here at about 62 feet out, uh, we, do, we have an earthworm that just crawled in and out of the sidewall of the pipe there. That, that is, does appear to be uh, dirt or dirt that's come through an opening in the pipe. I don't know if there's uh, roots underneath that or if it's just a hole or a crack, but there does appear to be a uh, breach in the line there.
And here at 97 feet, I believe we're, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to do locates to verify where that is at. We're also going to let the line drain out here for a few minutes before pulling back. I yeah, located the camera head successfully at the main lateral out on Southeast Paloma Avenue. Looks like it's still draining out. It's probably going to take a few minutes with all the debris in the line. Yeah, so far here, pulling back through, we're seeing a lot of really large uh, chunks of debris coming through the line. Um, I, I recommend a hydrojet to clean the line and then a rescope. Have the drain clean guys run a, a camera back through there. Uh, the, the hard part is I, I've seen a couple spots with standing water here so far, uh, but there's huge uh, chunks of toilet or just debris in general associated with them uh, that could be damming up the sewer pipe. So it's hard to tell if there's a belly in those areas or not. So the line really needs to be jetted out uh, regardless. There's lots of debris, but two to, to check for underlying issues after that. Here's another perfect example that that debris right there is causing a, a dam in the middle of the sewer line. So there's no way to tell here if this is standing water um, or if it's just being dammed up. So. Okay, so here at 62 feet, this is where we saw the earthworm crawling around here a moment ago. It does appear that we have an opening in the pipe allowing dirt to come into the line. And that's how uh, Mr. Earthworm is able to go in and out of the sewer pipe. So I am going to locate this particular spot here. Some of the issues we're going to be able to locate today, some of them, uh, until the line is jetted, we're not going to be able to. Uh, the, and those issues are where there may be standing water. And located here, we are just beyond the street curb, right where the, the driveway skirt meets the street, about a foot out beyond that. I've marked with a big wide X there at uh, 9 feet 3 inches deep. Uh, being that it's under concrete and it's at that depth, that's way the heck down there. Uh, I would consider doing a pipe liner for the repair so you're not having to trench up concrete. It becomes uh, often more expensive to trench than it is to do, it, to do a, a liner in that circumstance. And depending on what the rest of the line looks like after it's jetted, um, it may need uh, a, a larger portion line after the all said and done. Look at, we have a very large root intrusion right here. 
hard to see due to all the debris, but somewhere here right around 56 feet. And located here, we're about smack dab in the middle of the driveway, um, right near the where the driveway skirt starts, though. By middle, I mean oriented into the center of it, not the halfway back towards the house. And that's marked with a white X. We're at 9 feet 5 inches deep here. This is another spot that you're going to have to check after it's been jetted. It might be due to the roots that there's uh, buildup in the flow line causing the standing water. Um, may also have some settled pipe here. That may be how the roots got in as the pipe opened up after it settled. That will be a lot clearer once it's cleaned out. I'm just about to really camera out of the line here, um, kind of as an overview of what we've got so far. At 56 feet, uh, appears we have a root intrusion. It's at 9 feet 5 inches deep. That's at the edge of the driveway where the driveway meets the driveway skirt. Uh, and then we also have a what looks like an opening in the pipe where, where dirt has it was coming through and the worm was going in and out of the line. I don't know if that's the start of a root intrusion there or what's occurred. Uh, but it does appear we have an opening there. Uh, the, both those issues I recommend correcting. Uh, we have some other issues with standing water um, up, ahead, up beyond that point, but we need to do a hydrojet and then a rescope to, to check to see if there's a belly in those areas or if there's just a ton of debris in the line uh, that's damming up the sewer line. I'm going to go ahead and reel out. I recommend uh, looking into doing trenchless repair, a pipe liner, uh, or uh, any, anything like that. All the repairs so far underneath the concrete and quite deep.